This is the particle diffraction experiment. This will show how particles, such as electrons, can behave like waves under the right circumstances. The experimental setup is as follows. We have a vacuum. Everything takes place in a vacuum so that air molecules do not obstruct the electrons. We have a cathode which will produce the electrons. We have an electric field to accelerate the electrons. And the other side of the electric field is a thin sheet of graphite. The graphite will behave like a diffraction grating for the electrons. The reg it's the regular spacing of the carbon nuclei that allow that to take place. Over here we have a white screen, that's a fluorescent screen. When electrons strike the screen they will cause it to glow green. That gives us a way of detecting where the electrons are striking it. When we are diffracting the electrons through the graphite foil, we will observe here a series of light and dark rings. Light green and dark green rings. That's an interference pattern. That is evidence of wave behaviour. So that's the experimental setup. What I'm going to do now is turn off the light so that we can see the fluorescence in the screen when the electrons are striking it, so that we can look for that evidence of wave behaviour. Starting to increase the electric field strength now. We can now see that beam of electrons striking the, uh, the screen here. As I start to increase the electric field strength, which is what I'm doing gradually now, uh, the electrons will be gaining velocity, and as they do so, they should get to the right velocity for the wave behaviour to have effect. So here we go, now they're starting to actually diffract. And as I increase that, Okay, so you can see these rings occurring here for a bright and then a dark ring and then another bright ring, dark ring and a bright ring there. That is an interference pattern, that is wave behaviour. So the electrons in this case are behaving like a wave. And that ring spacing is dependent upon the velocity. So I'm slowing them down now by decreasing the electric field strength and then I'm going to increase again. So you can see that ring spacing changing. It's getting smaller as I increase the velocity. That is a confirmation of De Broglie's hypothesis that particles can behave like waves according to the equation which is their wavelength is equal to Planck's constant divided by their momentum.